It's August 2016, and I'm in Extremadura, Spain, with my partner. And this is the poorest region in Spain. Two hours and a half north of Sevilla, and life is The heat is unbearable. It's like being in the desert. But the region is so rich otherwise. There, you can find the most amazing ham, and gems are eaten everywhere. My grandmother was Spanish, and she used to live half of the year in Paris, France, and half of the year in Spain. And I would spend a few weeks at my grandma's, living the Spanish way. When she got too old to really live there by herself, I decided we would keep on with our trips. But instead of visiting her, we would take her with us. When she passed away, it was a wish to be buried there. So our funerals were the last time I set foot in Spain in 2010. But I felt the pull of Spain. So I decided it's time to come back. Before the trip, I sent some messages to my relatives so we could reconnect. Some I haven't seen in many, many years. Those are people close to my grandma, close to my mom. But I was a kid back then, and kids do not really talk to adults. So I'm not sure they're going to respond. Anyway, we wander around the city center, and we pass by this beautiful palace. It's now I and hotel, and I wonder if they have a restaurant. It would be such a lovely place for dinner. But I'm a bit intimidated, though. Back then, I was 25 and clearly on a budget. But I dared to enter, and I asked with the most candid voice, is there a restaurant here? Um, could I see the menu? And the receptionist looked at me in quite a suspicious way. Asked me the menu over, and I discover that I have a two mission star menu in my hands with two mission star prices. <laughs> and this is not something I can afford. This place is completely out of my league, so I, I mumble something to escape. I I'm quite ashamed. And I just say to myself, that's too bad. Maybe someday. A few days later, I receive a text from my mom's cousin. She and her husband would like to invite us to a restaurant. And to our surprise, they are taking us to this very restaurant I dreamt about. Like, what are the odds? In which world do you get invited to a two mission star restaurant by people you barely know? So I'm both super excited and slightly embarrassed. Because I don't really know these people, even if we share the same ancestors. They are way older than me and could be a bit awkward spending the entire evening with them. What if we don't get along? And the burden of the conversation will only be on me as my partner doesn't speak Spanish. And, and I don't know what to wear. I have brought some simple summer dresses, perfectly suited for a road trip in Spain, but not fancy enough for an high-end restaurant. But I really want to go. So the place looks amazing. And I've never been to a two mission star restaurant before. The big night arrives. I have picked my best dress. But I'm still underdressed. And it didn't matter. Because as soon as we started discussing, I realized it didn't feel like strangers, but family. It was so easy to carry the conversation, which went on and on for hours. And we were not celebrating the past. We were rooting our relationship in the present. So there we are, on the rooftop of a 13th century palace in Spain, enjoying teas with some treats, as a family. And I can only stare at the stars, enjoy the warm temperature on my skin, and let myself be immersed in that moment. That night, I reconnected to my roots, and I found a new place I could call home. 
before the trip, I was afraid of seeing my grandma's hometown and relatives without having her around. But that night, it felt a bit like she was there, smiling among us, staring down from stars. And this was magical. Thank you. <laughs>